Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you my preview for the Hull City versus Manchester United match. Now, I'm sorry I forgot the Southampton one. I didn't do a preview. I'll be doing reactions and a match review as I always do. But anyway, let's get straight into this. And Hull City have been the surprise package of the Premier League this season thus far. Only two games in, of course, but they beat Leicester and they also beat Swansea, I think. So we can't underestimate them no matter what. Even though I think now they've got 14 fit players, I think one of them has came back. Um, they've, they've managed to get six points out of six whilst losing their manager with virtually no preparation. And uh, their assistant manager, Mike Phelan, who is their caretaker manager at the minute, used to be Ferguson's assistant manager for, uh, I think it was four or five years at Man United, might be longer, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, he's done a fantastic job at Hull and uh, we, we really are going to have to be wary Key players to look out for, I, I would suppose it would be their forward players, the likes of Diamande, uh, Hernandez, you've also got a uh, fullback in, um, I think it's Robertson, he's quite dangerous, Huddleston, um, Snodgrass, you know, they've got a fair few decent players, but on the grand scheme of things, although they have to be respected, you have to expect Manchester United to continue their 100% record and win this game. If Ibrahimovic scores in this game, that would equal a 91-year record for Manchester United. A player scoring in his first four appearances for Manchester United. Competitive appearances. The Cup to One Cup and then the first two games of the Premier League season. Ibra has scored. Scored four and three. If he, makes, if he nets in this game, then he's equaled the record. And I wouldn't put it past him. In terms of team lineups, um, I reckon we're going to go pretty similar to what we have in the rest of the Premier League. I think... Mkhitaryan might get a start though. I've just got a suspicious feeling. Um, Jesse Lingard has returned to injury, so it literally means Jose Mourinho has every single player available. Now, I can't remember how many times we've said that during the Louis van Gaal era or the Moyes era. Can't be more than three, max, surely, where every single player is fit, ready for selection. It's brilliant news and uh, it's a dilemma that we, we love to have. We've got fantastic depth in our team now and uh, yeah, I'm just very, very hyped. I think what we'll go with the same back five. I can't see him picking Smalling just yet because the back five, none of them deserve to be dropped. So it's De Gea, Valencia, Bailey, Blind, and Shaw. And then the midfield, Fellini doesn't deserve to be dropped. So there's no reason to. Like Pogba, Fellini, I think that's certainty. Uh, the only two players that maybe do deserve or could be dropped, I'm not saying they should. Well, one of them I am, but the other one I'm not, is uh, Martial and Rooney. Martial might have had two assists, but he's lacking his general game. He, he should have had a couple against Southampton, and I'm sure later down the season he would have scored those types of things. But I think this this uh, divorce with his wife, Samantha, and all that bullshit is, is affecting him. And I hope I'm wrong. I hope he can just brush it aside, get a goal, continue his confidence, continue his game from last year. As soon as he gets a goal, I, I generally believe we'll see the Martial from last year. And in this team, that's going to be exceptional. So... Stick with him for now, but he does really need to up his game up. He might have two assists. He's had some good moves. He should have had another one when uh, he threw balled it to Ibra last game. And Ibra just miscontrolled it, I think. But, um, yeah, I, I really hope he, he nets in this game because it would really, really help his confidence. So I think he'll still be selected. Rooney, he's had a goal and an assist. But, again, he just seems to slow everything down. Uh, uh, He'll, he'll end up scoring or getting an assist, now I've said this, and that's the type of player he is. Maybe, you know, as fans, we're, we're just looking at the bad stuff and not the good stuff, but on the whole, he just seems to slow down attacks. He's built up a good partnership with Ibrahimovic, but it does, as Sky Sports love to say, lack pace. That's like their number one analysis. I guarantee, as soon as we play Hull, I think it's the half-five kickoff. That's their analysis. United lack pace, that's all they say, but yeah. It would be nice to see Mkhitaryan go into the number 10 and continue with Mata on the right. But I think what's going to happen is Rooney will play in the number 10. Mkhitaryan will start for the first time in the Premier League, I hope, in place of Mata. Mata doesn't warrant being dropped, in my opinion. But I reckon he will. This is the thing. We've got so many players and so many deserve to start. And I, You can tell how much it, it pains Jose Mourinho to not actually pick all the players, like, obviously you can only pick 11, so a lot are going to feel a bit hard done by. But I think this is the time we'll use Mkhitaryan. He mentioned he liked Mata for his defensive contributions. And, uh, yeah, if you looked at the stats from Squawker, he, he tracked back a lot. He uh, intercepted a lot. And basically his defensive work 
has improved drastically since he was sold by the same manager at Chelsea. So, um, yeah, I think with Hull, we're, we're expected to go at them a bit more than Southampton and um, mine's went blank and I cannot remember who we played on the opening. Day. Bournemouth, that's the one, Bournemouth. So I reckon we'll play a more pacey player and that's Mkhitaryan. So Ebro up front, I think that's that's pretty much obvious. Nine players don't deserve to be dropped in my opinion, maybe ten. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a similar lineup. That if you didn't catch that, the front four will, in my opinion, Mkhitaryan, Rooney, Martial, Ibrahimovic, and um, yeah, I can't see. Although they have to be respected, I just can't see us losing this. The way we played against Southampton, there was a lot to improve by, but we were just so solid, like defensively solid. We created some amazing attacks. The midfield, Fellaini complemented Pogba really well, and vice versa. It was just a joy to watch, and Ibra scored a, a cracking header. So. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be confident, like I was last week. I think I predicted 3-0, and it ended uh, 2. So I wasn't too far off, really. Um, but, you know, I'm going to say I'm going to say 3-0. I'm going to say 3-0 again. Um, I'm, I'm going to be confident. Ibra getting a goal, Martial getting a goal. And uh, you know what? I'm going to say Pogba. I'm going to say Pogba gets a goal. Maybe Fellaini, but I'm going to say Pogba. Ibra, Pogba, and Martial to score us to win 3-0 against Hull and that would put us on 9 points and would set us up really well going into the international break because we play Man City directly after and that oh, I cannot wait for that Pep versus Mourinho but that's for another video so hopefully you have enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already like the video and yeah peace